Hey, Oakwood family. Uh, so yesterday, Bailey asked me if I would be willing to give a brief devotional uh, for this week, and I agreed to it. And then after I agreed to it, I didn't really know the direction that I wanted to take it. Um, but I went for a run this evening, and I was listening to music, and a song came on by Maverick City Music, and they kept repeating a line about how God was faithful. And I thought how how good that applied to today and the pandemic that we're going through and just how our world seems to be turned upside down in our nation as well. And um, just even through the midst of everything that we're going through, how God is still faithful and how um, just even when we're not faithful to Christ, he is still faithful to us. So I wanted to share some scripture with you all, um, kind of talk through it and kind of explain what I got out of it um, and just kind of explain how God is still faithful even in the midst of chaos. Um, so the first scripture um, is out of 1 Corinthians 10, uh, verse 13. It says, No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will also provide the way of escape that you may be able to endure it. So I think it's important to um, realize that God will allow us to be tempted. Um, and even in those uncomfortable situations, um, God can uh, help you grow the most and you can see your true character and your true faith in those times. And two things that I wrote down were the temptation of doubt. Um, I think a lot of us have gone through some sort of doubt, especially during this pandemic, um, kind of questioning, God, where are you in the midst of this? Um, our nation has been turned upside down, not only um, by the pandemic, but by other reasons. Um, and it's kind of easy to question where God is in that and really doubt how, how God can still be faithful um, in these times. And even in this verse, it says that God is still faithful in those times. Um, and the second one uh, that I wrote down was the temptation of comfort. I think a lot of times, um, even in staying in the comfort of our homes, um, we can become comfortable to the gospel. And it, and it's easy to um, be lazy and sit there and watch TV, play video games, or do stuff around the house, but we get comfortable in our faith. And uh, during these times, um, we don't see the need for Christ um, because we are too busy um, and we're actually comfortable where we are. Um, and so the second scripture that I wanted to read was in 2 Timothy. Um, it's 2 Timothy 2, 11 through 13. Um, and this is Paul's second letter to Timothy. And it says, The saying is trustworthy, for if we die with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we deny him, he will also deny us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful. For he cannot deny himself. I love that verse 13 because even in the midst of um, how little our faith is sometimes and even our lack of faith, God is still faithful to us. And it's so key because we fail God so many times um, in, our, in our walk with Christ, but God remains faithful. God never changes and God always remains the same. He will always be there. Um, with his arms wide open, welcoming us back. And I think I wanted to uh, share this analogy um, with you all. It's one of my favorites, so if you've heard me talk about it, you get to hear me talk about it again. Um, but it's this guy, he's talking about um, wanting to take his kids to the ocean for the first time. And he wants them to get into the ocean. When they get out, he's going to ask them, is the ocean on you? And they're going to say yes, because if you look at your skin, you can see the water, the water beads, they're still on you. Your hair is wet. The ocean is on you. But then he asks the question, have you emptied the ocean at all? They say no. Because if you look at the ocean, the ocean is still so vast and so deep and so wide. And that's how God's faithfulness, love, mercy, grace, any characteristic of Christ and God, you can you can put with that because you would sooner empty the ocean sooner than you would empty any character characteristic of God. 
because God's faithful, faithfulness will never run out. God's mercy will never run out. God's grace will never run out. So even in the midst of this pandemic and our world being turned upside down, just, just remember that God is faithful. God will get us through this. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.